Okay, now what we're going to do is, if I can get this thing to work here, <laughs> what we're going to do is, as you can see, we just finished. If you're happy with what it, and you have everything in the right area, the next thing we're going to do is this new layer that we made with our height map on it. We're going to click that and we're going to delete it. So now here's our terrain mask. This is what our terrain mask looks like. And now the next thing you're going to want to do is click your blur sharpen. Make sure it's set on blur. Uh, let's see, scale. Make sure the rate is 50% if you want to have, uh, I mean 100%, make sure it's 100% if you want good blur. If you don't want the uh, textures blended as much, uh, turn your blur down. So what we're going to do is we're going to blur the edges in and make them blend better and so it's not just a straight line dividing the textures. So we're going to start blending that in. It's one of the uh, things you use a lot both in height maps and uh, terrain masks. Always using that blur to blur in your textures your edges. Go all the way down to here. That. I have a little path here. Actually, it blurred a little bit too much. We're not going to do that. We're not going to, we're just going to go right a little bit less. Like that. So another thing you play around with is how much blur you want. If you want it uh, more distinct, you don't blur it as much. If you want it blended better, you blur it a lot. Which usually I use a lot of blur. Because I believe I think it makes it look better. Unless I'm trying to really uh, define a certain area. Okay, now that we're happy with it, I'm going to click on File. I'm going to click Save. And we're going to call this Tutorial Mask. And again, make sure the mask is at the end. It's just like train with your um, height map. But this, you put mask on the end. And we're going to select File Extension. And we're going to find our PNG right here, PNG, and now we're going to browse our folders, and we're going to go to C, and for heart, media, trains, and we're going to go down and find our map folder, which is tutorial map, and we're going to save. And again, with all this, just uh, don't you have to change anything. You have to worry about that. Just click save. Now that's done, and we're going to close this and close our train height map. Click don't save. Close. Yep. And now we're going to. We're going to open our feral heart, and let's see, All right, we're going to go to tools and map maker, we're going to go down through our list here of maps. And we're going to find our map, which is tutorial map. We're going to click load. Here's our map right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click our world. And as you can see, the first train's already on here. That's the one that's the first train. That's the red. Now what we're going to do is, where it says default mask, we're going to erase that. Put tutorial.
mask and we're going to click here hmm. there we go now as you can see it's black where we put the other colors in for our mask Oops. You can see where it's black and stuff. Now, first we're going to take our first texture, which is number one right here. You can see right here is a number one. This is the red from our texture. And what we're going to do is go down until we find something we like, which I usually like the grass, but let's see. Mm. Let me find a different kind of grass. Deep, let's try deep green. Deep green grass. And mm, that's too dark, I think. I'm going to try uh, grass sticks. Here. And I think we're going to have a yellow grass even up here. I've been doing so many green ones, but this one's going to be yellow. Okay, so we have that, and now we're going to click our little arrow here, and this is our second color in our mask. This is where the green, so this would be the pond and the river. Green is our second mask, and we're going to go through and find a good texture for that. So, maybe, maybe do some rock. Or our river and our hills over there are going to be like rocky. And as you can see, it added the terrain in there. So that's going to be rocky now. We have our last texture, which is the third texture. That's where the blue was. And we're going to go through and Maybe we'll put hmm, flower grass. We shall have little flowers. Look at that. We have that. Hmm. I think I actually kind of like that. I wasn't sure at first, but yeah, I think I think that'll be nice. The, f the flowery grass on our hills here, and then. Uh, And that's how you make a train mask in GIMP and you put it in your game. As you can see all the different patterns here. Oops. You can see our other other hill over here. That we put the uh, grass on and look over here is our remember our path we did. It's a little green grassy path right there. It's not very dark. <laughs> I may have blurred it just a bit too much, but that's our little 